Hello everyone, welcome back to the dental indices session on dentistry and more. So today we have uh, dental caries indices. So we will be seeing only DMFT and uh, DMFS. So that is what uh, important for us in our uh, practical session or even for our exam. So it was given by Henry T. Clean, Carol A. Palmer and Nutson J.W. in 1938. It is decayed missing filled teeth index or DMFT index. So it is very simple, rapid and versatile and very universally accepted one. It is very easy to calculate. There is no much con confusion in it. And it is an irreversible index we have seen in classification of index. So the tooth, the idea is it is uh, measuring the caries experience. So caries experience is a term they used caries experience. So the filling due to caries and the missing due to caries is what this index measuring. Okay, so we have three category that is decayed, missing and filled. So missing due to caries and filling due to caries. So what are the instruments and uh, conditions? There should be a proper lighting and a three plane mirror that is our common mirror and a explorer that is a common explorer. So these are the instruments or instrument and uh, lighting setup and third molars are not included. All 28 teeth are examined. <laughs> so teeth which are excluded. So this is one of the pioneer uh, setup in dental caries assessment. Uh, this system so this is nowadays is modified by WHO uh, but this is the true index and true uh, and in its uh, raw version or original version we are studying so later we have modifications in 1986 and 1997 by WHO so let's see the original version where the third molars and unerupted teeth are not included congenitally missing and supernumerary teeth teeth removed reason other than dental caries so all these uh, in modification of 86 third molars are included and uh, teeth lost due to periodontal disease for age 30 are included uh, in 97 modification so in original version teeth removed other than caries so they use the term caries experience so other than caries reasons are not considered and teeth restored the reasons other than dental caries <coughs> are also not included in filling criteria such as we do filling for abrasion uh, trauma uh, and uh, gingival recession so all these things are not included primary tooth retained with permanent successor erupted also not included so what are the basic principles and rules so only one tooth counted once. No tooth must be counted more than once, either decayed, missing or filled. So if a filling and a decay is present on the same tooth, it will be always decay. Filling will not be counted in DMFT. And decayed, missing and filled teeth should be recorded separately since the component of DMF are of great interest. So D, M and F are separate entity. When counting the number of decay teeth, also include those teeth which have restorations with recurrent decay. So I told you like if a tooth with restoration and decay, <laughs> filling is not considered only decay. So care must be taken to list as missing only those teeth which have been lost due to decay. So missing due to periodontal reason, missing for orthodontic extraction, missing due to trauma, accident are not considered here. And also we can include which are indicated for extraction under missing category. So that is another criteria. So we can include such tooth also for missing teeth. Following should not be counted as missing, unerupted missing due to accident, congenitally missing teeth have been extracted for orthodontic reason. Tooth may have several illustration but is counted at one. Deciduous teeth are not included under capital DMF count. It has small DMF. 
A tooth is considered only when the occlusal surface or incisal edge is totally exposed or can be exposed by gentle probing. So what are the modifications? Modification 9086 modification, like I told you, all third molars are included. Temporary restorations are considered as decayed, but whereas original version it was a filling. And only caries cavities are considered D. The initial lesions, that is like chalky spots, spain fissures are not considered as D. Whereas in original version, a catch, a slight uh, discoloration and slight uh, the demineralization area would be considered as caries. But those are excluded from caries category in this modification of 1986. <coughs> So we put, uh, so calculation, how do we calculate? So calculate, we have many uh, like uh, individual DMFT, just add up DMF, we get DMF group average, total DMF by total number of subjects, person needing care, total decayed by total number examined, percent of tooth lost, like number of missing by total number, fill tooth, uh, total fill by total DMFT, and missing, uh, teeth percentage that is total missing by total number so we can have many uh, categories of uh, expression of data so the maximum possible is 28 if the raw version and 32 if the WHO modified version so in 1997 uh, the WHO modified a little more uh, elaborate that is uh, the explorer is used in the raw version but in 1997 WHO recommended CPI probe and also one more addition is that tooth loss due to periodontal reasons that is other than caries for the people more than 30 would also be considered as missing. So if a tooth uh, loss due to uh, periodontal reason for a 35 age old it will be considered as missing the modification 1997 but it's not considered as a row. The original version so this is uh, 1986 the WHO oral health performer third edition modification and the 1997 modification is also there that is a fourth edition so what are the advantages uh, because of its widespread used it's been used for almost 60 years and it gives reasonable accurate uh, historical count account of changes in prevalence of dental caries but the limitation we already discussed does not values are not related to the number of teeth at risk tmf tenders can be invalid in all adults because teeth can become lost due to other reasons than caries tmft index uh, can be misleading in children whose teeth have been lost due to orthodontic reason and dmft index can overestimate because of the preventive fillings such as spit and fissure sealants DMFT index is of little use in studies of root caries. So, next is DMFS. So, here it is. Surface is also included instead of tooth. That is, same authors given by and pretty clean Caroli Palmer and Abstin Jablu. Same, same authors in same year, 1938. Which is more sensitive it is it has an option to uh, enter multiple category in the single tooth you can have both caries and filling on the same tooth that is the advantage so usually the index of cho choice in a clinical trial of caries preventation used to determine total caries experience past and present so it has five surfaces buccal lingual mesial distal and occlusal and anterior it has no occlusal only mesial, buccal, distal and tingle. So this is like decayed surface, missing surface and filled surface. So anterior it has four surfaces that is buccal, lingual, mesial, distal and uh, on the posterior it has occlusal for the premolars and molars. So DMFS is more detailed index than DMFT by summing the total number of decayed, missing and filled two surfaces. So as in case of DMFT index, DMFS index is simple and versatile and more sensitive. It is giving more detailed uh, output. 
so how we are checking DMFS index like I told you for posterior teeth, five surfaces like facial, mesial, distal, lingual and occlusal, anterior there is no occlusion. So calculation is individual just like DMFT we can calculate DSMSFS. So how many surfaces will be there? So in DMFT there will be maximum 28 or 32 but in DMFS if it is 28 there will be 128 surfaces like how 16 into 5 it becomes 80 that is 16 molars and premolars. 2 molars and 2 premolars on one quadrant so total 14 teeth each has 5 surfaces so 80 and 3 teeth that is central lateral and canine on one quadrant 4 into 3 12 into 4 48 so 80 plus 48 128 so if 32 means again 20 will be added up for the 4 molars that will become 148 surfaces so 0 to 28 or 0 to 32 is a DMFT scores and 0 to 128 and 0 to 148 is the score of DMFS. So modifications like uh, we have uh, modifications of crown teeth, bridge pontics and any other particular required for study we can modify it. So DMFS uh, can be used in half mouth and uh, such way uh, for time uh, management. There are many disadvantages because uh, sometimes we use like I uh, mentioned half mouth and opposite quadrant that is uh, producing inconsistent uh, diagnosis tooth score exactly the same under extreme of clinical condition and provides little or no additional information in prevalence studies so the advantage is more sensitive because the same tooth can be mentioned uh, if it has both caries and uh, filling missing anyway there won't any chance of uh, multiple entry so the color we commonly used black for caries uh, blue for filling and uh, red for missing so caries indices for primary tendition this is what I was mentioning DEF index given by Grebel in 1944 this is just another version of DMFT so DEF in DFT index or DEFS index equal to DMFT or DMFS. D for decayed, E for extracted, F for filled. So the basic principles and rules of DEFS index are the same as capital letter or the uppercase DMFS or DMFT index. D means indicate the number of deciduous teeth that are decayed in counting the number of decayed deciduous teeth only counted once. Just like our capital DMFT cannot be counted as filled and decayed if it is restored and caries can be detected it is decayed because caries has more weightage the explorer should fall into the caries with substance and not just to the deep groove before counting occlusal caries and this is a, a tricky part E for extraction indicate those deciduous teeth which have been extracted due to caries or which are so badly decayed that are indicated for extraction because of the wide variation in the time of exfoliation teeth we cannot put M category we are putting E category it is difficult to determine whether tooth is missing from the deciduous rendition was normal exfoliated or was extracted because of caries so if, cat, if it can be accurately established that a missing deciduous teeth has been lost due to, lost due to caries include it without indicated for extraction with those indicated for extraction sorry so f is nothing but indicated for filling or filling has been done so modification of def is def index is dmf per use in children before the age of exfoliation that is children over 7 years and up to 11 or 12 years so in this group we can use dmf because uh, by the time uh, all the teeth uh, must have erupted and it will be in the mixed dentition time and exfoliation will be done by 12 years so we can use DMF missing due to caries DF means in this in this index the missing teeth are ignored we because of this controversy the M category is removed and we say DFT or DFS index
Disadvantage is it is difficult to determine whether the primary tooth has been extracted or shed naturally. That is the most disadvantage. So that is all about uh, the dental caries index. Uh, there are many indices, uh, sick index, um, ICDS criteria, many indices are there for assessing uh, dental caries. So this is uh, the pioneer pioneers of classification of dental caries. So that's all about uh, caries classification, capital DMFT and uh, small DEF DMFT and its modification. I'll come with uh, fluorosis index in my uh, next session on indices, tooth indices. Thank you.